When did you find out about gay people? Who told you? Because, do you even remember? Because I do. I remember exactly how I found out about gay people. And it's, um, it's an interesting story, actually. I was about, I'm going to say, seven or eight years old. And I was watching The Simpsons. So this, is, this was a revelation of life that came about because of The Simpsons, as up until the age of about 15, most of the giant revelations in life came from. And if you're familiar with The Simpsons, you probably know which episode I'm talking about. But if you don't, it's the episode, I can never remember the title of the episode, but like anyone's going to know it anyway. It's the episode where Homer makes a gay friend called John. And it, if you still don't know the name of this episode, let me just... Zap. Zap. If you don't know what it is, then there's no other way for me to explain it to you. Um, basically, Homer makes it face friends with it. Sorry, makes friends with a gay man. And uh, the cliffhanger f for the uh, ads is uh, Marge revealing that he is a homosexual. And I'll get to the word homosexual in a bit. But I remember watching this in the ad break, and my mum was there in the room with me, and I was just watching this. And my mum goes, Do you know what that word means? And I go, What that word? She goes, the, the last word there, that the word homosexual, I was like, no. She goes, oh, uh, it means when a man is in love with a man or a woman is in love with a woman. And you know what my reaction was? I, it, the thing is, people today, it's like, how do I explain to my kids what a gay guy is? I, that was how it was explained to me. And you know what my reaction was? Oh, okay. wonder. Then I went back to watching the ads because there was probably an ad for a toy or something. And that, that was basically it. Though I do have to... Um, I, there is an embarrassing uh, twist to this tale where um, I had misremembered the word homosexual and for I'd say about a year uh, it was my belief that uh, people who were attracted to the same sex were called homosecomojos <laughs> I don't know where that came from but uh, homosecomojos um, was kind of it, like it must that's that's how I remembered it in my head. I remember the word homosexual. Like you know the way you mistake when you're a kid, you like you mispronounce certain words. And in my head it was the word was homosexual mojo. <laughs> and uh yeah so that's that story. Um though I do have to say that is still to this day one of my favourite episodes of Simpsons because it does deal with this kind of homophobia that Homer has and it does it handles it pretty well because by the end of the episode like, his, his, his idea like he finds out his friend is gay and he's shocked and he thinks he's going to turn Bart gay and stuff and it's, it's actually really funny it's one of those proper you know when Simpsons was really good I still think The Simpsons is good in fact I still think The Simpsons is better than say 80% of TV comedy these days but obviously it was better back in the day um and that's, to this day, that remains one of my favourite episodes of The Simpsons. Not only because it's damn funny, like the whole, the revelation that the entire steel mill industry is gay, but just like, it's it's clever, it's funny, and by the end of the episode, Homer has learned to accept gay people. <laughs> Which is great. A great thing for kids. And I could go into how The Simpsons is perfect for children and stuff, but I won't go into that in this video. So I just wanted to say... That's how I found out about gay people, and that's why we shouldn't be afraid to teach kids, hey, gay people exist. Yeah. Okay, see you tomorrow. Oh, and if you have anything to say, comment below, find me on Twitter and Tumblr, uh, and my email address are all down in the description. Okay, bye-bye.